I, I wanted to talk to you too about like you and Brian's experience in all this because uh, every time I've interviewed you guys, Brian, Brian's a smart man. He lets you talk. He, he says, this is my amazing wife and she's going to talk. Uh, so I'm wondering what it's been like for him to kind of be on this interracial relationship uh, journey with you to, to go right now in this moment and protest with you. Uh, Cause I haven't had a chance to talk to him about that. So I'll, I'll ask for you to speak for him now. What, what's it been like for him? Yeah. You know something Brian shared with me the other day that he's never said before, and this goes into the, the show playing into stereotypes. Every time Brian was on the screen, they played Latin music. Every single time. When he got out of the limo and spoke to me in Spanish, I was already smitten. De todos los hombres. You gotta repeat after me. Though. Okay. De todos los hombres. El que más me gusta. El que más me gusta. Es Brian. S. Brian. Whether he was, when he came out of the limo, when he would come to approach me, when I was in Miami, there was always this music playing and Brian shared with me that he never felt more Latin than he did on the show. I'm saying that to say, the show plays into stereotypes that their audience has. I, that music they had playing for Brian, I've never heard anything like that before in my, you know, relationship with Brian, like his family doesn't play that type, you know, music. It's just, it was just so playing into a certain stereotype. And people were not receptive to our relationship at the end of our, at the end of the franchise. So we've always had to develop a thick skin and figure out how we were gonna navigate this world as an interracial couple. And we did that from the very beginning. So for us going through what the world is going through right now, we've had the tough discussions about presenting ourselves as an interracial couple before and you know how we want to raise our children and Brian has always been like gotten it you know we our children will be half black half Colombian and we want them to have um, experience both cultures and we'll educate them on both and they'll be bilingual and they'll understand understand their culture as Colombian and black protesting is something that Brian hadn't done before that I have and I, it was important for me that we did it together because we are one unit, we're married. And he was all for it when I was explaining to him what he'll feel when he protests, what it means to me, and he got it. And we've always had, like communication has always been the foundation of our relationship and we always have those tough conversations. So watching Brian protest and scream Black Lives Matter and really get emotional in the entire experience of course, I look over and I'm like, gosh, I made the right decision because he understands me and I understand him and he just gets it. But it was also about marching for our, our future, right? Our future child who will be black. I don't know if he'll be a male or a female, but he may face some of these injustices that we're experiencing right now. So we're marching for our future family. And that's what was representative to me when we went out there and did that that day. And now Brian's like, so when are we going again? 